You had a good attitude yesterday. That's the easy one. Every day is going to get a little bit harder. We need to be a lot, little more detailed. We can do camp one of two ways, okay? We can come in here. Every NBA team can do this. You can have uh, good practices, okay? And a lot of times the good practices where there's nobody getting tired, no conflict, no teaching, nothing else, you don't get done. You don't make progress, okay? Let's be a team. We come in here, whether it's 40 minutes, 50 minutes, two hours, we get done. Okay, let's go. Alright, chance to win it right here. Rogier. Gonna have to put something up. Yeah! A coach's journey in the NBA always comes with a story. Steve Clifford's sequel features a return to Charlotte and a second stint as Hornets head coach. But things this time are slightly different. I do want you to notice that there's no more candy bars. That's, that's the big, as I've evolved into the, my 60s, that's my, you know, staying away from sugar. You know, the first two times for me taking over, uh, coming here, and then when I went to Orlando, they basically were coming off like 21, 22, 23 win seasons. Uh, this team had a level of success, winning 43 games. And uh, so I think that it's always, you need to take the, you know, the temperature of the group. Um, but it's definitely different. He's a professional, you know, he's been doing this and you can tell he's been really good at this for a long time. And, you know, for him to come with a new band of characters in a city that, you know, he was in before, you know, with a whole different roster, a whole different look, I think is, is a testament to who he is. Nothing matters till you get your intensity right, okay, and your concentration right. This year's training camp in particular to you, what does it mean? Everything. They're all willing and driven to be better than we were last year. It's just about building that strong foundation so we can continue to grow and build an empire off of that. Going out there and just competing every day, you know, building as a team. You know, it's my first training camp. I'm really excited to get out there with the guys and get after it. Back to doing what I love, which is play basketball. The opportunity to sharpen up on the details and the skills of the game. I'm just looking forward to getting to it, man, and just kind of showing how much work we've all put in this summer and how excited we are. Okay. The one thing I've learned over the years is you can't shortcut the process in this league. Uh, you've got to start uh, every year, build a foundation of offense, of defense, whatever, however you're going to try to rebound. And, you know, if you, if you try to skip any of that, you know, you're going to pay for it. Are we good enough? We're good enough. We're good enough. And if you don't think we are, come and see. And I'll tell you why I think we're good enough and we'll be good enough. Man, that's the most reassuring thing you can hear because he has more faith in us than, you know, people may have in themselves, you know, and that's, that's the biggest thing, man. You need a coach who's going to ride for you. You need a coach who's going to believe that you can do the impossible, you know, before you even do, for you to even be able to do that. Yeah, yeah Cody, that's what you do! Sorry, y'all. Be over here, listen. Come on, Cody! Never been in a training camp where, you know, we, we started training camp playing five on five, three quarters with real referees. And, you know, guys are just pretty much trying to, you know, prove their talents to one another and to the coaching staff. I got ball. Let's go. Let's get stops, baby. Come on. Do what we do. Take care, take care. The way you pick up intensity in camp is you play a lot of five on five. No, which is what we've done. So we may be not as far along in the details uh, that some other teams are, but I think our guys are in good shape. I think it's the best way for them to get into rhythm. Hey. Yep. Back three. Back three, right. And I think players like it, you know, like to come in and play five on five and it's a good way to get the season started. Listen, oh, wait, wait. I've never been on a team where guys have come into camp really locked in like that and ready to just go 100 miles an hour at each other. Hey, we, we, we. Good pass, boy. Find a way to play hard, concentrate, and have intensity, all right? The intensity of training camp can be heavy, so leave it to Charlotte's All-Star to keep things light with his infectious personality. Back at it again with the Rare Adventures. <laughs> Mello, they try to give me the camera. Nick, I gotta watch my language or they can't use the film, so let me just be kind today. Oh, you see the orange kicks? He trying to be like his daddy. It's okay. <laughs> You feel me? You got my brother right here. That's twin. You see the number. You see? Oh, where my jewelry at? Big oh, two. Big two. Big two. 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 two.
Look at Cody, that boy stay serious. Yeah, we live. I know that ain't chump. <laughs> Big Mark, you feel me? You already know, this is my rook right here, this gang. I love my boy. <laughs> you feel me? I treat my, my boy with respect, though. Y'all gotta learn how to do this. I have my dog right there, though. You, you know, you know, he stay activated. KO in the building, you know. <laughs> Yeah, all that. Teamwork make the dream work. Gordon Hayward, G twenty H. You running your own media day? Yeah, yeah, you can. Joe. Oh no. Nah. You feel me? Oh, yeah, you feel me? You feel me? My boy got a show. He working. You know that, that? That's what we do. We motivated. That's what, that's what I like to see, baby. We driven. You know. And we checking out. I'm done for today. I'm gone. Gallo of the heroes, baby. It is such an honor to be here with all of you hosting the 14th annual Hornets Heroes Gala presented by Lowe's. The theme of the program is a night of stars swarming together and raising support. Is there anyone on the team you thought maybe needed a little help raising the bar with what they were wearing? We're gonna go with Kai Jones. He actually looks good tonight, man. So I won't, you know, outcast any of my brothers there. Everybody looks great. The jacket from Louis Vuitton. I like it because the wizard too is tough. I need just some nice slacks from Banana Republic. Uh, Prada shoes. Just some accessories, keep it simple. Once that ball tips up and the game really counts, the lights are really bright and you have to, you know, put in the preparation and the work in order to have that carryover. So we're constantly putting in the preparation and the work, you know, but the next step is that carryover into the game and I think we'll be okay. Hey, one, two, three. Hard work, 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 don't stop. Work, work, don't stop. Hey, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 four warning. Good talk, good talk, good talk, good talk. You think I set you up like that? I'm gonna stay close to y'all today. Hey T, you say you had to tell me something? Huh? Nah. You think I'd be on that for real? <laughs> I ain't gonna set you up from Narcos. You see the tape? <laughs>